The sequencer in Reason is where all your audio and MIDI tracks live, and they can exist side by side. You can have as many of these as you want, uh, and each one is connected to a device in the rack, whether it's an instrument in the case of a MIDI track, or an audio track module in the case of an audio channel. Data that's in the sequencer can be very easily picked up, moved around, uh, copied and pasted. Copy and paste. There's also this thing called blocks mode, uh, which is a non-linear means of composition. In many music applications, you're used to kind of composing from left to right, which is perfectly possible, and a lot of people like to work that way. But in our special block section, we go into some detail about how blocks work. And very quickly, if you switch to blocks mode, you can see that I've got some data here recorded into two blocks. At the moment, I've copied and pasted the data from the first one to the second one. Uh, if I was, for example, to select my drum part, go to the tool window, and I could perform some MIDI actions on this. I could, for example, choose to alter the notes, which adds some randomization, and apply that. So what I have now is two blocks with different data in. If I go back to song mode, I'm able to draw these blocks into the sequencer. And when I do that, I can then reassign each one to play different material. So if I play this back, you'll see what's happened here is that the data that I created in those blocks exists in the sequencer. And if I play it back, you'll hear it change from one block to the next. And this is a way of composing using sections of music without having to copy and paste them directly into the sequencer. So the way we achieved that randomization of the drum parts was just to uh, alter the notes automatically uh, using a quick command. That's something we look at in our MIDI section. <laughs> 